listen and learn. Learn and listen. The facts are fun. I'm going to dive into one of my favorite aspects of it, and that is the integration with mobile devices. I'm going to start talking about mobile video, because here's the thing. In case you didn't know, mobile video is kind of an interesting thing at this point in time in history. In fact, I'd like to go ahead and ask a question. How many of you out there do not currently have a phone that is capable of taking video? or have a device like an iPad or a some kind of tablet device. Okay, Julie does not have a phone camera. Julie, yeah. are you still using a flip? Yeah. Now, uh. well, and let me just back that up a little bit. Here's the thing. I hate smartphones as phones, and that's just a thing I have. I love a flip phone. When I want to use a phone, I want to use a phone, okay? The thing is that I do, however, use my iPad as an example of a mobile device as a video camera. And there's a couple of reasons why I do that. Because first of all, it, it's something that I already own, but the quality of it is just superb. I mean, it is stunning. And almost all of the newer smart devices, both Apple and Android, really <laughs> come into play in this respect. You can hardly buy a video camera, especially south of $5,000, that could even rival the quality you can get if you do it right. So it's easy to use also. But the thing that really kind of jacks me up on this are the number of applications for those devices that relate to video. Oh my gosh, I'll show you a few of them here in just a second, but you can use your device as a camera and then do all kinds of beautiful and magical things to it with just pushing a couple little buttons that used to take an entire suite of products or an entire studio of hardware to do the same kinds of things. Right, so there are tons of apps and add-ons and accessories. You can get tripods and mounts and extra lenses and stuff, and a lot of people just don't realize that yet. But what it does is it puts the power of creating and capturing video into literally everybody's hands. And the interesting thing about that is, when I talk about hands, just a couple months ago, we actually surpassed the number of people on the planet with the number of mobile devices. There are more mobile devices out there right now than there are people. And here's the other thing that's really kind of handy dandy about it. We get asked all the time, well, what video camera should I buy? And, you know, we're not camera video experts, but the thing of it is that, first of all, that changes on a weekly basis. So we, we can't and just don't make recommendations because we can't test everything and, oh my gosh, that kind of thing. Video is becoming ubiquitous by being integrated into these devices. It's the camera you have with you. And if you can do awesome stuff with it, then that's just really kind of where the, the rubber meets the road. So the thing is that Camtasia Studio gives us a few interesting tools that we can use to do that. I'm going to jump out of the slides for the time being, and let's uh, just go do some demo stuff. A couple of quick things here. Mobile devices and cloud computing, these are all like tools that are going to help us with making really kind of sweet and interesting videos, right? So uh, I'm in Camtasia Studio right now, and one of the things that's kind of sweet is that you can now go to file and connect directly to a mobile device. And what I'm going to do just for a second is I'm going to switch over to my iPad. Okay, so here uh, I'm using a little app here that just kind of mirrors my iPad onto the PC. So what you can see inside this white box, this is my iPad. Okay, and it's pretty much like any other mobile device. Like I say, TechSmith supports the Androids and Windows tablets and, you know, all, I mean, all kinds of stuff like that. So this isn't really too special to the iPad. It's just kind of what I happen to have. TechSmith has an app now, and it's called Fuse. And let me just jump over here for a second. So the Fuse app basically lets us connect for iOS, Android, and for Windows tablets and stuff like that, 
you can use your device the way it was meant to be used for video. You can collect images, pictures, all the stuff that mobile handheld devices are extremely useful for. We can share them instantly and connect them into our Camtasia Studio so that we can use that content to create our videos, right? So Fuse is an app that you just in download and install. So I'm going to go ahead and just click on the Fuse app here for a second. There we go. So on my iPad here, this is basically my camera roll, and it's just footage that I've shot, you know, doing all kinds of goofy stuff and things like that. And I can flip through all of my various content, and when I'm ready to send it to Camtasia, right up here, we have a little dealy here. So if I press that, what it's going to do is Fuse is going to say, okay, where would you like to send this video or image? And I'm just going to say I want to send it to Camtasia, right? So I'll pick uh, the Camtasia that I want. And what you'll see is now that I have a little scanner, okay, hopefully everybody can kind of see that. So I'm going to go back to Camtasia now, and I'm going to say connect to mobile device. And what's going to happen is you'll see this little QR code pops up here. Well, with that, this scanner right here, what I'm going to do is just point it at this QR code. Okay, and boom. So it connects, and it's going to pull it right into my clip bin here. And that's basically what I've done with a bunch of these video clips right here. This is really just like the easiest way to get videos into a video editor ever. This is really just kind of a sweet and handy dandy kind of a thing. But what I like about it even more, like I mentioned, is that we have all of these apps. Okay, so those are film clips that I have, and they're in my camera roll. But I can also use all of these various apps on the iPhone or iPad here and use it to create and modify existing film footage. So let me just kind of swap this out here. This is a little app called 8mm. Okay, and I'll just kind of move slow here so it can figure things out a little bit. But what you'll notice is that it has this old-time vignette around the outside, and it's all kind of grainy and old-looking. It's called a filter. And what I can do is I can hit this big red button here and record this, and it'll go right into my camera roll. And then I can use Fuse to connect it. And I can change things like, oh, different effects. So here's a black and white version called 1920. Here's a, a, a little different one with different lighting and filters and effects. Camtasia doesn't do any of this at all. I mean, it, as a video editor, it just doesn't have these add-ons and things that you can do. But guess what? My mobile device does. So I can create my video footage and all of that good stuff and then basically just jam it right into Camtasia. And when I say there are hundreds of these, there are tons of really sweet apps that you can do, things that do slow motion effects and that create slideshows for you and put them to music. And, you know, they just do it so simply and easily, just like any mobile app you might think would do such a thing. And that, I think, is the sweet power of this is that, man, we can just connect it all in and we can just get it into our Camtasia product. So if you think about it, mobile device computing and video and images and stuff like that integrates into now what we can use for our video projects. Okay, It really is almost a game changer because it puts the creation of video content in almost everybody's hands. And I mean, you should see some of the videos that kids are coming up with. It's just, it's crazy.